second. Now looks high on the 29 of Harvick. Man, look at this eight car go. Oh, someone in the wall up there. With you. Keep coming. The fans on their feet. Junior around the outside. Harvick's not giving it up no. yet. Need some help down there. Wow, Robbie Gordon to the outside of Ricky Rudd. Well, they got too Tony much Stewart, up there. where did he come from? He's right behind Junior. And Junior let that one two to go. Somebody's smoking back there. Yeah, someone got in the wall up in three or four just a moment ago. Left front mirror. tire, Robbie Gordon. He's got a left front tire, Robbie. There's a smoker Robin. behind him, too. Yes, there's two cars smoking this make contact. Marty on the 20. Tony Stewart said earlier this week, somehow Dale Earnhardt Jr. and I always find each other on the racetrack. They found each other again. Remember, Tony said his car pushes better than it pulls. I think he'll ride right where he is. Remember the Daytona 500. Stewart was Earnhardt's new best friend. I think Tony wants to win this thing just as bad as anybody else, though. Coming through the trioval, they will get the white flag this time. There he goes. Tony Stewart taking a look at the bottom. He's got no help. And he lost his spot. White flag is out. Last lap at Talladega. Dale Earnhardt Jr. pushed by the car his father used to drive. The 29 of Kevin Harvick. And the veteran Dale Jarrett behind him. Harvick did all his work earlier on the bottom, Jr. Oh, oh trouble. trouble. Jeff Gordon. And oh. there's the crowd. Rick Biffle. Casey Kane. Several cars involved. But the caution is no, 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 still no. green. It's still green. Okay. They're still racing at Talladega. Last lap. They will come to the checkers this time by. So there will not be a green white checker. The white flag is in the air. Dale Earnhardt Jr. looking for his fifth win at Talladega. Works his way back to the front. And Jr. where his father won ten times. Oh, we got a car sideways in the trail. Green number five. The oh. checker is out and somebody upside down. Elliot Sadler again lands on his wheels. Right. Yeah, good save right there, you right. Sadler, who had that terrible tumble here a year ago, on his roof at the finish. Well, if they left this race 10 minutes early, they missed it. And these rescue workers, I hope these guys are paying attention. We have rescue workers on the backstretch attending to the red cars there. Yep, everybody shut her down pretty slow. Viffle is back there. Unofficially, Earnhardt Jr., Harvick, Jarrett, Brendan Gaughan, and Kurt Busch. Tony Stewart, Mears, Nemechek, Gordon, and Ward Burton. And he's, he's opening a roof hatch. He's opening up the roof hatch. And you see the roof hatch open on Elliot Sadler's car. He did this a little while back, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> About a year ago in this race. Yeah. He said he wanted to finish this race with all four tires on the ground. He did. Almost. But he just didn't keep them there <laughs> yeah. the whole time. Almost. There is Elliot Sadler. That'll make the highlight real. Now let's go back and recap the closing lap of this race. First of all, the wreck at the start finish line. We'll take a look here at Elliot Sadler down on the bottom. On the Somebody right blocked him. That's Ward Burton Ward there. Burton. Those guys just all squeezed down. Yep. He got hit in the right front fender, turned his car inside the racetrack, and the worst thing you want to do with a race car, get on the grass. The roof flaps deploy, but not enough to keep that 38 on the ground, and Elliott Sadler makes the Talladega tumble. At least it didn't tumble, tumble, tumble right. like it did last He's year. He's getting better at this. Yeah. He probably, well, that's because he puts on the brakes once it gets in the air, right? But it doesn't help. <laughs> Especially the flag. Yes, sir. Man. Now on the back stretch on the last lap. Casey Kane hard up the outside. He's got a good run. Not sure what. Oh, he got Jeff. sideways. Oh. He ran up on that 15. And the 24 barely gets through there. He makes contact, but someone gets in the back of Greg Biffle and just turns him head on to the wall. And Biffle hits the nine of Kane. The engine is, the accelerator is hung wide open sitting back there against the wall.